What's the crack, lads? Let's get straight into it. Mid-season MVPs review. Now, we do have a couple of nice players in here. As you see here, we've got G uh, Gabriel Jesus, we've got Pedri, and we've got De La Feo as the three stars. But I have actually got this guy, Timber. Um, it is his brother, obviously, Quint the main guy, Timber's brother. Um, so this guy is obviously, uh, you know, an absolute beast in real life. He's been absolutely flying it at the moment. And I think that he's got a big future ahead of him. But yeah, let's see what the crack is with him because obviously his brother is one of the best players in the game. Um, and yeah, I mean, as a center midfielder, it's always nice to have. I'm going to probably, yeah, I'm going to be doing new content. That's why I've kind of bought him. But we are going to be taking a closer look at maybe like what, maybe six or seven of these players. We're not going to take a look at them all. I definitely think he's worth a three star. We'll get to him in a second. I'm going to rule out the ones that I don't think. I'm going to keep this a short and sweet video, lads. I'm going to rule out the ones I don't think are worth it, right? I don't think Trippier is worth it. Um, depending on what you have, like, in your arsenal, on your squad, as a right back, I think that there's way better options there at right back. I just think he's too slow on the ball, man. I just, I think he's dribbling his tight possession, is too slow. Um, his offensive awareness and de defensive awareness are just too low. You can't really train him up very, very highly, but we'll have a look at him in a second. I also think this centre forward is not worth it either. Look, as a three-star nominating contract, I've got a ton of them. If you want to, you know, buy a lot of these players, I've got 12 three-star nominating contracts, so uh, you're going to get more with the match pass as well. Um, you could effectively buy, you know, with the match pass, you could kind of buy these players every, every month and uh, not really, you know, have a difference. But yeah, I think that you're probably better off waiting uh, to see kind of what comes. I don't think that you're going to get better players for three star than Timber. Um, he looks good. Skilvani looks like a decent option as well. If you're looking to have a young squad for a three star nominating contract, I definitely think he's worth it uh, as a three star, even though he's a bit slow and even though he's not going to be like a ball player, even though he has build up. So just a couple of strange decisions made with these cards. Um, I also would probably rule out Simons or Simmons. Uh, this guy is on loan as far as I know um, I think he was in the Dutch squad for uh, for the World Cup but yeah I don't know much about him apart from the fact that he is a very skillful player 79 overall is very decent for a three star as well I would probably buy him based on his abilities and his skills alone that you can train him up he's going to have very high acceleration but we'll get to that and then also we have Trossard as well He's an interesting one, man. He's definitely an interesting card. I think if he'd done wavering form and a couple of more passing skills, I would use him as a whole player, as an AMF. But everyone has free Messi now, man. So what's the point? Like, trust me, there's no point in really training him up. That's just my opinion. But anyway, right, we are going to go over to eFootball DB. And we're going to start with the maxed out versions of the players, of the players that I think are worth it, right? So we are going to kick off with Pedri. This is how I've trained him up. You've got insane stats there. 90 Ball control, dribbling, possession, and low pass, ridiculous, as well as 90 stamina and acceleration and 96 balance. Like, if you do not have Pedri in any of the cards, standard, or his player of the week, or the Barcelona pack, or the Spanish pack, this is an excellent card to get for a five-star nominating contract, lads. Trust me, he's an absolute machine. One of the best players in the game, unwavering form, oodles of skill, Player skills out to Yazoo and just a really, really beastly player. I don't need to spend too much time on Pedri. You know what you're getting with him. Jesus is the same. I think he's probably like a mini Romario, uh, mini kind of Michael Owen. Obviously not as good as those big time epic players or legends. But if you are looking to have a, a player that's very similar, I definitely recommend Jesus as well as a five star nominating contract. Really interesting player. Now you might already have him in the Man City pack way back when. Or you might have the Arsenal pack. Um, but I think that this guy stacks up really well. The only thing that's kind of different about this Arsenal pack in him is his finish and his offensive awareness, which is better on the Arsenal card. But um, yeah, it's not a massive, massive deal breaker. Uh, or sorry, this card is better finishing and offensive awareness. But it's not a massive deal breaker if you do have the Arsenal card. You are going to have a really good version uh, with the Arsenal card as well. But I think that this card looks insane, lads. Definitely jump on this if you have a five-star nominating contract. They're the two I recommend. Uh, we also have De La Feo. You know what you're getting with him. 90 dribbling, 90 acceleration. As an SS, if you're playing in the hole, that's very unique, right? We don't even need to go that high. Like, the big thing that you're going to want with him is a bit of passing. Um, but you're not going to get that super, super high. So, you know, 
you do probably need to keep up that offensive awareness just to be able to make those runs in and just be able to link up play. I think him as a super sub is an interesting one as well. I definitely think that he's probably worth it. And look, if you are having a lot of four stars or five stars, there's a lot of these players that you could try out and test out and see what you think. Kovratskelia is one that we will look at here now as well. Um, he's a really interesting choice, I think, if you are looking to have somebody that's a little different. But his stats aren't massively overpowered. And especially the fact that he's on E-form this week is a killer for this card. But you will have a really decent player when you do get him. Now, they did release a player of the week version. I reckon that this version is a lot better um, because you can get up his acceleration way higher. And that was the one issue I had with that player of the week version was that his offensive awareness and his acceleration were too low. Whereas you don't have that issue with this card. So, yeah, that is an interesting one as well. Uh, we've also got Nico Williams... Don't need to spend too much time on him. 97 speed, 94 acceleration, and 89 dribbling. That's all you need to know about this card. Pure speed, pure pace in the second half. Bring him on if you do want to buy him. He isn't a bad option for a four-star. Um, I think him and Trips probably, or him and Delafeo are probably the best four-stars here. Um, but yeah, the one I wanted to kind of look at was Timber. Uh, Simmons and Timber, obviously, they're both interesting choices one of them is a very attack-based, fast-based player, and the other guy is a, is a really kind of good all-rounder. I don't think he's is going to be as good, um, even though I did buy him as a box-to-box. -box. I literally just want to have the two brothers on the team and, and just be new, doing a new um, a new kind of like series that I'm going to be doing. But yeah, uh, this guy looks really, really decent as well if you are kind of looking at getting... Because it all comes down to, like, if you do have three-star agents i definitely think they're worth it like i'm gonna buy this guy because i have so many three stars and i definitely think i'm gonna train him up and see what he's like because a lot of people uh i know you know will probably have him and i definitely don't want to miss out i want to do a really good review on a lot of these players because they're interesting man they're different types of players you know rather than just playing with the same old guys all the time i think the form is a bit of an issue though and then we also have Trippier here. As I said, it's very hard to train him up. You're never, you know, he's kind of just a jack of all trades. You're never going to be a master in anything unless you boost up the shooting, you know, and you have a really good free kick taker. But as I said, everyone has free Messi now, and that should be your free kick taker. We also have the Delafeo card here, as I mentioned earlier. Um, we know what we're getting with him. So for me, lads, look, I do think that it's a fairly okay nominating contract selection. Uh, I've signed two there, three star guys um i might actually sign this guy as well he's not bad at all for a three star and i do have 10 three stars left so we've signed three of those they're the three i would pick i already have multiple versions of pedri but i probably will sign uh jesus as well that's going to be one option that i have um and i am actually going to sign him for a five star nominating contract and i just decided just there now lad. so let me know if you want me to review any of these players in depth i think jesus is definitely the pick of them because everyone usually has pedri by now um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Peace.